Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire Edition, but in this case it is a mailbox edition, so I would definitely say that if you are looking for the story, then skip this episode and you can watch the next one where we will be traveling to the tram market to locate the Lady of Sorrows. And so, we have 53 mails to go through, and the first one is from Shalak the Wise, and he says, Hey Reformist, hey, I have been following your channel since you were starting your Mountain Blade Warband Perizno series, and have started to follow your Sith guy. I would really like to join your guild as soon as possible. I live in the States, Utah to be exact and have never been on a European server and would like a different look than what my guild over in the States does. But I thought to convince... To, uh, okay, yes, you will... Oh, uh, well, yes, thank you very much. But yes, you can easily join just by messaging Midari or Zanish, and they will give you an invite. Or, of course, when I am online, you can send me an invite as well. Well, you can send me a message, and I will invite you no problem at all. And so... On to the next message here. Greetings, Reformist. I'm a long-time sub since 3K from the States. I've recently started enjoying your Star Wars series even more than before, so I decided to leave my precious 55s and join you here. I'm looking forward to follow you by your side, my lord. Also, could I please get an invite to the guild? Yes, no problem at all. And yet again, message Midari or Zanish, and they will invite you, of course. And so, yes, there is no need to give me cash either. There is no need to give me cash at all. That is not necessary. I have never asked for that, and it is not a requirement. Far from it, in fact. So, yes, now let us head on here. Hello, Reformers. This is Maul Time, a.k.a. Darth Maul. I wanted to tell you, if you don't still know about this, that the actor who portrays Andronicus Ravel is Steve Bloom. Yes, I did know that. Yes, he is uh, very impressive, I have to say. And... Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I will be taking that. Thank you. There is, yet again, no necessity to give me anything here, but I don't want the mail to be deleted and for the money to actually be lost in general. So, we will now head on here. Hello, Reformist. This is a multi-time alt, and the name is Terminator. Just going to wonder what alt you would pick. I would choose the Imp Agent, but I would like to see your trooper again, because if I'm not mistaken, you didn't complete the story. Just a suggestion. Yes, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, really. I am really just having a lot of fun with Zanesh right now, and that's really all I can say about it, to be honest. But I'm sure we will find out in due time, and we will now head on. You said you wanted a hood thing? Here, this cost me a few credits, I don't really care. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Oh my, Revan's chess piece. Wow, that is very nice of you. Goodness me, thank you very much. And yet again, you do not need to send me anything, okay? <laughs> okay, so, let's see here. Hi, Reformist. I'm your fan, and I watch every, all of your videos. Well, every video. Can you invite me to your guild? It will be a great honor. Write to me if you agree or disagree. Well, if you're watching this, then by all means, send Madari or Zanish or myself a message, and we will invite you if you are not already in the guild. That is, it is 27 days ago, so you may already be in the guild. And a minor med pack. Thank you very much. I will take that. Why not? And now we, I just want to know if I can get an invite to your girl. I do believe this fellow has actually joined, so I do not need to worry about this. And thank you very much once again. Aha, we have something from an NPC here. Dark Lord, the Sith Empire rises. With the extraction of Isotope 3 proceeding slowly, it proceeds all the same. And while our victory on Tython was short-lived, it proved to the galaxy that we are far from diminished. We continue to press forward with Admiral Rankin's initiative in the Kuat system, and the rogue Zerka Moon has become a symbol for Imperial resistance against the Republic's heightened aggressions. Do not think for a moment that I am unaware of your contributions. Among the Dark Council, you have far and away played the most vital role in addressing these matters directly. For that, you have my gratitude. Great days await us, but we must first endure the many trials that are sure to come. And that is from the late Darth Maul, unfortunately enough. He is still technically around in the Force, of course, but... Yes. Ah, now we have Lana Benico sending us something here. I hope this correspondence finds you well. As promised, I have been looking to substantiate the claims I made when last we spoke. The suspect did recently show an unexpected interest in the transport of a shipment of Isotope 5 originating from Makeb. But no actions were taken to reroute or tamper with the delivery in any way. And it arrived safely at its destination on Darth Maul's flagship. The whole matter seems to be nothing more than an idle curiosity regarding the maneuverings of others. 
I want to assure you that this furtive pursuit grants me no, no satisfaction. If I'm right about my claims, I've lost a close ally. If I'm wrong, it means my instincts are now deeply flawed, considering the strange disturbance I sense that continues to pervade the Force. I worry that these concerns are merely the figments of a deranged mind. All that stands clear to me now is that I must find the answer, no matter the consequence. Forgive me if this message comes off as overly candid or ponderous. I have no one else with whom I can share this burden. Ah, oh, thank you very much. And now Darth Ma once again. I recently had a chance to speak with our colleague Darth Arcus. He had much to say about you. Oh well, of course we know what happened to him. According to Arcus, the two of you have worked together a great deal since reclaiming Korriban, and you have built a strange... a uh, strange rapport? <laughs> strange rapport, yes. Strong rapport. In fact, he went so far as to describe your contribution as invaluable. The Dark Council could use more accord among its members. I hope your example serves as inspiration. Arcus did not elaborate on what the two of you have been up to, though I can imagine many ways in which your knowledge of ancient secrets could be of assistance to Arcus's military strategies. I look forward to hearing more about it when next we meet. And that is Darth Maul once again. And I've just received new mail. That is quite the coincidence. Okay, so, Lana Benico. Darth Arcus sent me a coded message. He explained that my services as his advisor are no longer required, and that I should not attempt to confront nor stop him. He says there are Revanites everywhere, and anyone we choose to turn to could be in league with them. He confessed that he'd initially thought to recruit me, that he'd taken me under his wing because he saw in me the potential to be a great Revanite asset. He was ready to let me in on the truth about his plans. But, according to him, something changed the moment I met you. He sensed the connection, a certain open affinity between us. He said that moment was my undoing. I say he's wrong. Arcus will see it was his undoing. His and the Revanites. Okay, and now on to some community messages here. Darth Zanash, I am an aspiring Sith Lord, and I wish to serve your cause in eternity. I do not have any items worthy for a Darth, but I give you a small amount of credits to show my respect for you. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you for watching and everything well, regarding that, and thank you very much for the credits, although, again, it is not necessary by any means, I am merely taking it so that it does not get deleted, I do believe this guy did get an invite as well. And so, let us now move on. Lord Zaynash, it would be an honor to join your guild, yes, by all means, send a message to Midari, Zanish, or myself, and you will get an invite. Hello, Lord Zaynash, it is an honor, I have been watching you for a while now, and I was wondering if I could join your guild, and this is all the credits I have for you. Oh, it is not necessary at all. It is seriously not necessary. Thank you very much, though. And you do have an invite. Yes, I believe this fellow has actually joined us, so no problem there. Greetings, Lord. I would like to know when you think you will be making your new tune, because I would like to join you in your adventures. I am so sorry that I'm not able to send you any credits, but some good news is that I had sent you all my credits in another mail. Well, thank you very much for that, once again. But, yes, I have no idea when I will be creating a new character. The one thing that I am just deciding on really is what class it is going to be, if anything, because right now, as I said beforehand, I am enjoying very, very immensely playing Zaynash, and I am just wondering where the storyline is going to go, obviously, with Knights of the Fallen Empire, and of course, I believe that it only goes to chapter 9, and there are 16 chapters in total as far as I am aware, so you can imagine that there's going to be a lot of story going on, and yeah, I hope that answers your question. Okay, well, hello there, Reformist. Watching your videos has gotten me back into Star Wars after many years. I hope I can get an invite to your guild if it's not already full. P.S. Bannerlord is almost upon us. How excited are you? Oh, incredibly. I am... Very excited about that, and I am very hopeful that it will be upon us very soon, uh, of course. But, yes, I am not entirely sure whether you gained an invite, but... If you did not, then by all means, send a message to Midari, Zanish, or myself when I am online. And you will get one very, very quickly indeed. And so, let us head on. Oh, enjoy! Oh, thank you very much! A Jawagram! A flower <laughs> delivery! Oh my goodness, wow, that is actually very cool, thank you! Thank you very much for that. Aha, now we have, ooh, an NPC. With all who have passed through the catacombs in search of my wisdom, you might think I would forget a single acolyte. 
In truth, I remember every last one. I am not in the habit of corresponding with them, however, nor with anyone else, for that matter. You have surely learned a great deal to have catapulted yourself into the Dark Council in so brief a span. But there is always more to learn. The Force roils and convulses like never before. I reached out to study its peculiar activity, and in turn it showed me what is to come. You stand on a moon defiantly, before one who is not one. You do not stand alone, but you fail all the same. This fate appears unavoidable, but avoid it you must. That is a vision from Spindrel there, if we all remember Spindrel, from Korriban. And here is Sergeant Tarston. This notice may be of little consequence to you, and I wanted you to know that I will not rest until the traitor who killed Darth Arcus faces the harshest possible punishment for her cowardly assassination. Surely those who know her, or knew her, must have been surprised by Lana Benico's treachery. My lord placed a great deal of trust in her, as did I. However, I do admit I always had this nagging suspicion in the back of my mind. There was something about her, secretive, conniving. I ignored it, and for that I cannot forgive myself. As close as you were to her, closer than any, I would say, I imagine you know better than I of that which I suggest. So you are aware I am sending a copy of this correspondence to command. It is important to maintain full transparency, as we all strive to adhere to the unfaltering patriotism that Darth Arcus embodied so well, and I believe this guy was actually a Revanite, so do bear that in mind. Okay, on to the next one. Greetings, great Darth Zanash. I have finally found you after a great adventure. Now that I have, I must ask if I could join your guild so I may fight at your side. And the side of your fellow guild members. And yes, thank you very much. I do appreciate your support. And yes, again, please send a message to Madari, Zanish, or myself, and you will gain an invite. No problem at all. Okay, so, Wayne prospecting? Okay. Someone needed to put an end to Grum and Goro. Ah, I see. They, uh, yeah, yes, they were the, well, fugitives, pirates that we fought in Raider's Cove on Rishi, I believe. Yes, those two were bad news, acting like they ran Raider's Cove. And they were running it into the ground. I moved to Rishi to get away from having a bunch of laws forced down my throat. I knew there'd be downsides to moving to the fringes, and I'd have to protect myself from thieves and gunslingers, but those two were on another level. Grum more than Goro, but Goro had such a chip on his shoulder. So, you wanna think, give me a break. But yeah, Grum, anytime I saw him, I knew I was about to kiss my face and credits goodbye. Maybe now I can enjoy Rishi the way I was hoping I would. In relative peace. Ah, oh, well there we are. That's great. Sorry for not being active in the chat. I give you this small amount of credits as an apology. It's not much, but I don't have anything. There is no need. There is no need at all. There is no need. Oh my goodness. Well, whatever the case, thank you very much, but there is no need for sending me anything, really. A absolutely nothing. Your message is enough. That is it. Okay, so, move on here. Okay. You don't know what a relief this is, you breaking my man out of that slave prison. I have been trying to save enough to... Pay the blades back taxes and get ran out, but the interest is so high. Pretty much a way to keep him working for free for the rest of his life. Not no more, though. We're packing up before the blades get wise and come looking. You are way bigger priority for them, I'm sure, but we're not taking any chances. Ren says he promised to go back to Harlow Ricks and his old pirate life for you anyway. Wasn't a fan the first time he was into all that, but at least this time around I'll be there to keep him out of serious trouble. Thanks again. My Ren thanks you too. There we have it. And now we have a message from Moff Pyron, who is currently missing, of course. Regretfully, I have indeed found agents of the Order of Revan within our ranks. Bunk searches conducted during surprise field missions provided the opportunity to identify several adherents. Of those, I chose one weak link to break. I'm going to wait until I feel he's given me everything I need to excise the remainder. I don't want a single mole left. Speaking of which, my investigations also uncovered the unauthorized use of override transmission codes aboard the Doombringer. They were traced to an engineer we'd intended to question, but she fired herself out an airlock before we could arrest her. I believe she was in the employ of a particular freelance spy network. I can only express my gross discontent in these matters, my lord. I have security redouble their efforts in all future assignments to the fleet. And I will say hello 
to this particular fellow who has sent us a message. There we have it. Okay, so we are going to take those credits from Moff Pyron, of course. Greetings from the Harbringer? Harbinger? Harbinger? Yes. Harbinger server. And from the States. Loving your Star Wars series. I haven't heard you mention that there is a new expansion coming out next week. Wanted to let you know in case you hadn't heard. Lots of new stuff is always good because you are doing the story missions. I figured it was a good idea to warn you not to start the new stuff until you finish the Shadow of Revan story. Of course, yes. As the new story takes place in some of the same locations five years later. So it will lock the older stuff. Ah, well that's good to know. Thank you very much. And we are now going to be going to the part two here. Apparently there's a word limit. <laughs> oh, this would have all been in one message. Also wanted to ask for a guild invite. Would be awesome to do a Flashpoint or a PvP team or something. Have fun. Ah, thank you very much. Well, yes, by all means, send a message to myself, Midari, or Zanish, and we will invite you post-haste. Thank you very much for that. And I am going to say I am recording at the moment, but I will get back to you. Yes, but I will get back to you. Yes. Thank you very much. If I can actually type properly, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? So, Sergeant Aston, I know how lucky I am to be alive right now, and I realize I'm tempting fate just by contacting you, but I want you to understand something. I have never been sure of any Sith Lord's motives, but when I worked under Darth Arcus, he struck me as especially crooked. But we know that he did not, because in a previous message, he said that he was a very upstanding guy and a patriot. So, I knew what my fate would be if I spoke up, even if my suspicions were correct. So I remained loyal to Arcus until his death. Ah, I see. So he wasn't a Revenite. I actually thought he died. Hmm. Well, that is impressive. And since being reassigned to Lord Ivris, my loyalty has been to him. Ivris betrayed the Empire. Ah, well, there you go. Okay. Whether you dealt with him appropriately isn't for me to say, but Revenite or not, Captain Mil Milanek, yes, was an enemy of the Empire who deserved to die. And I applaud you for sealing his fate. Despite how it looks, I do want in my heart to see the Empire thrive and the Republic fall. But I am a survivor. If we ever cross paths again, I hope you'll bear this in mind. And this is, of course, all of the... Well, Knights of the Fallen Empire gear, so we have a mount here that I suppose I will take. We have a major experience boost, which we do not require. We have a companion, which I will not be taking, because apparently, as we can see here, you can encounter Nico and learn more about him after completing Chapter 9, but if you'd like to begin traveling with him immediately, you can use the attached item to unlock Nico, etc., etc. So, that is actually very cool if we wanted to get him, and... Ah, we will take this for our stronghold, thank you very much. And there's some Nico Blasters, if we wanted to play as something. I'm thinking mm, Bounty Hunter. Yes, Bounty Hunter is probably going to be the one that you can use these on. And then, of course, we have a Duster Coat as well, which actually looks remarkably cool. Obviously, probably not for Zaynash, but it looks very cool, no doubt, on a mercenary or maybe on... An Imperial agent or something along those lines, but nevertheless, there it is. Okay, so we have a message from Anonymous. I won't pretend I enjoy working with you people. Every moment I have to stand there and endure the Empire's presence is an insult to the memories of all my fallen brothers and sisters. But it's the job right now, and that's what I keep telling my soldiers and myself to keep from taking every last one of you down. That Ivan deal, though. You and Ma taking control of the situation. The egg on high and mighty Shan's face when it worked. Oh man. The people in charge on my side need to understand that when the lives of our own are on the line, nothing is off the table. Maybe this will help sway the Jedi the next time they get skittish. Maybe if we get through this, we'll apprehend you and I'll get to lead your interrogation the way I want. That would be thanks to you, you know. If... Nothing else, the thought makes all this more bearable, even makes me smile. Ah, I have a feeling that that might actually be... Hmm... Maybe that Rallo guy, perhaps? Oh, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so, Kira. Hey, remember me? We chatted on the docks of Raiders Cove, and I lived to tell the tale. Well, okay, now it turns out you weren't a pirate after all, so maybe I wasn't in as much danger from you. But still, the relief I felt after you walked away and I was still breathing, that was intense. Everyone's still talking about the whirlwind you caused, not just the stuff with Goro and Grum here in the cove, but shaking up the Nova Blades and those folks across the way with the camps and all the ships. 
Yes, we get a lot of excitement around here, but I think we'll all be anxious for a bigger batch of crazy for a long time to come, thanks to you. Wherever you are, and whatever you're up to now, I hope you're rocking someone else's world the way you did with us. Oh, thank you. Lana's. Ah, Lana. How unexpected all of this has been. I must admit I was flattered by Darth Maul's proposal, and the point-blank manner in which the position was offered led me to believe there was only one answer to give. But I do not intend to execute the role of Sith Intelligence Minister with ego or disdain. I am dedicated fully to the same pragmatic approach I brought to bear against Darth Arcus and the Order of Revan. You'll be interested to hear I've learned that Theron has moved up the SIS ladder himself. As I'm sure you know, I have no ill will toward the man. Point of fact, I respect him a great deal, but that doesn't mean I'm going to make his life easy. I'm already taking steps to lessen his effectiveness. I will always look back on our work together fondly. Fate willing, it won't be the last time. Well, no, it is not, that's for sure. Invite to your guild, pretty please? Ah, well, yes, by all means, send myself, Midari, or Zanisha message, and we will get right on that. And now we have a bunch of item recovery. I'm pretty sure this is from, yes, these are items from our companions. Pretty much pointless to look at these right now, but I will be sorting that out at another time. And now Darth Mar. Early reports from Zyost. Had been rushed and nonsensical, but Minister Benico has set everything straight. She has told me of Vitiate's return. And your involvement. But now of this ill-timed offensive strike from the Republic. As matters stand, I will not be sending any further resources as they would, as they would ultimately assist Vitiate in his mad goal. I have full confidence in your ability to work with Benico and her people toward a solution. I will monitor the situation and will contact you directly should the need for drastic measures become absolute. Thank you very much, Darth Maar. And now we have Rain Kovach. Mentally composing this message in case I meet an untimely end on Zyost, which I now see is even more of a distinct possibility than when Vitiate first surfaced. The Republic has gone to war. Possessed combatants lie in the streets of New Adasta, and you may very well like to kill me yourself. Which we did actually do. If my service here is cut short, know that it was ultimately life that I served. My own life, yes, but also Agent Shan's, Minister Benico's, the Supreme Chancellor's, and those of the millions in New Adasta and the countless masses across the entire galaxy. Even yours. If Vitiate wins, no one wins. And now on to Darth Maar once again. Goodness me, he does like to write a lot of mail, doesn't he? Something went awry with the communications platform. I had intended to commend you for your work thus far, but I have just received word that your breakthrough against Vitiate was only temporary. This is most distressing. Vitiate may be more powerful than any of us assumed, and as he does not appear to have any manner of physical form, he cannot be restrained or destroyed by conventional means. The order to evacuate Zyost in priority sequence has been approved. I will attempt to contact you again if anything changes. Okay, well we will be taking the credits from Darth Maar right there. And now he has no subject. We have lost much this day. Think on what has happened to Zyost and what it means for our future. Then prepare. Yes, well, we tried as best we could. Hi, I just love your channel and I wonder if I can join your guild. Well, yes, by all means you can, and once again, all you need to do is message me, Medari, or Zanish, and you will get an invite very, very quickly indeed. Okay, so, yes, thank you very much for the credits as well, but it is not required, it is not required at all. And so, let us move on. Ah, Rallo, are you alive? Something must have busted in the engines. We actually sped up toward the enemy ships. I barely made it out before the collision. Don't know if anyone else made it. Can't raise Dole or you or anyone. Hope none of these... Oh, well, hope none of those ships drag me in. I wouldn't want to see what these people do with prisoners. Get in touch if you... Transmission error. Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> head on to HK55. Observation. Zakula news broadcasts are transmitted on an unsecured frequency. Reports on our escape are currently the leading topic. Elaboration. Fatalities due to the reactor overload are estimated at nearly 5,000. This does not include undocumented individuals living in the lowest levels of the spire, where damage from cascading debris was greatest. Property damage is likely to exceed 3 trillion credits. Conclusions 
The coolant generators are a weak point in their infrastructure. High Justice Valen is willing to sacrifice thousands of the coolant lives to achieve your recapture. And thank you very much, HK. That is a great analysis. <laughs> okay. Hi. You're the reformist? If I'm right, not sure on your level, I'm still below episode 20 on your playthrough, but I just wanted to say hi. Well, hello. Hello there. And now a message from Alana Benika. I've just received word from T7 back on Zakul. Arkan's forces are scouring the swamps, capturing any exiles they find, and killing any who resist. It is likely that they're being questioned on the suspicion that some of them might have aided our escape. The Kulan news networks are reporting nothing of it. They have no idea what their new emperor is truly capable of. But we do. And we must remember just how far he'll go. Ah, here's Tora, the very fun-loving engineer. Hey, I don't usually write notes, but I loved your work today with that prune-faced buckethead Vic. Guy was like a festering boil on a dewback's rear end. Nobody's going to miss him, least of all in the free zone. I hear they threw a party after you left. I don't know what else you do for fun, but Asylum has a couple of cantinas that won't rot your guts with, with whatever swill they're serving. If you ever want to kick back and relax for a bit, I'm buying. Well, technically Vic's buying. I stole his boots and sold them for my R&R &R fund. Anyway, nice meeting you. Okay, so now we have Heskel. We are almost caught up here. Facing you in battle was the only way to see the truth. When I felt the eternal Emperor's might radiating from you in the heat of our duel, it burned away all of my doubts. I know now that Arkan will fall, the Scions will be avenged, and you will bring order to the chaos engulfing Zakul. It is my honor to be your herald and seer. I have already received a vision of what I must do to ensure your final victory. When the time comes, I will be ready to serve you. Oh yes, there we go. And one last from... Ah, this is actually from a viewer. Excellent. Good evening, my Lord Zaynash. I hope you are feeling good. I just wanted to say that your YouTube videos are really awesome, and you made me go back and play Star Wars and make a Sith Assassin. Good luck in the rest of the Fallen Empire. Thank you very much. That is very much appreciated. And we have now just received another message here. Just wondering which spec I should use for a Shara. Hmm, well... Apparently, all of the companions share an overall build now, so I would definitely recommend going for something either tank or healing. I don't know necessarily whether DPS is that good unless you're playing some sort of healing class or something along those lines, but I actually don't know why I'm speaking into the microphone right now instead of actually sending him a message. So instead, what I will do is I will end this off here, end this episode off here, a mailbox edition of Star Wars, and we will be traveling to find the Lady of Sorrows in the next one. So I thank you very much for watching if you stayed until the end, and I will see you next time.